The Lord is here. The great Lord is here. Thanks so much for tuning in once again to PRZ FM 109.2. My name is Remy Kende Tau. I'm the host. I'm the host of the special prayer conference, the prayer of the psalmist. I welcome you to the presence of God. I'm a woman that sits by the gate of nation with nobles, with noble men and, and women, villant men and women like yourselves. I speak to warriors, everyone tuning in for the very first time. I welcome to the presence of God. God. I speak to the warriors, I speak to winners, I speak to champions who truly understand and know the secret of the game of life that is always in the place of prayer. I'm speak and I'm calling on to those who understand that you have to sacrifice what you want to get so that you don't become the sacrifice. I speak to those who are adamant that any obstacle will not stop them. They understand how to leap over walls and over obstacle on their knees in the place of prayer. I like to speak to people who will understand or have understanding that the higher, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. I'm calling on to people who will, with understanding that they rather pray with all their passion or they don't do it at all. I need such people. I'm beckoning on so, to such people. I, I call on to people who rather stay fully awake than to do, than to do so in a place of prayer. I, I'm talking and I'm speaking to the vigilant, the vigilant men and women. People with understanding that strength doesn't come from what you can do. It comes from overcoming things you once thought you are in, uh, they, are, they are impossible. I, I, I am speaking and I'm calling out tonight, this hour, to everyone who, who, to every man and woman of the Spirit, those who are led by the Spirit of God, who are led by the Spirit of the Most High God. Who recognize their identities in this in the kingdom of God? I am calling on to people, people that pant, they pursue, people who are hungry for the words of life, for the word of power and manifestation of God's glory in their lives. I'm calling and I'm beckoning on to that. People with understanding that if things are that important and pressing, they need to wake the dawn. People will learn to wake the instrument of praise. People who will speak to God or using their own voices. I, I'm calling on to such people. I'm calling to people that believe so much in God and they know how to abide in the sacred places of the Most High. They know where it can be found. I'm, I'm calling out and beckoning to such people to come out, to, to come forth, to join me in this prayer conference. It's going to be awesome. I'm calling out to people who are ready to crush the spirit of fear because they understand that fear is nothing but an illusion of the mind, the strategy of the devil, the devices of the devil. I need brave men and women. I'm talking and I'm calling out to courageous men to join me in this prayer conference. I want to call out to beast slayers, people who can slay any power and principality with the word of God, with the sword of the spirit, with, with the holy scriptures. I, I need such people to rise up and to, 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 to join this prayer conference. I'm calling, I, I'm calling to people who have understanding that it is about being, it's not about being perfect. It is all about using effort, grace, commitment, service, sacrifice, giving it all in the place of prayer. I need such men. I welcome you to the presence of God if you're one of them. 
and I'm sure you're one of them because you're fully awake. I want men and women with great understanding that this book of the psalm the, is, a book, is a book of prayer written in pain, fear, tears, in blood, in grief, with, with broken heart. People who have understanding of the power of prayer, who are of understanding that such prayers have reached the heavens, they've touched the, uh, the heavens of heavens, they are registered before the Lord. And those who will rise with me this very hour to on or to unlock the uh, the fifth scroll we've been looking at it the fifth volume of the book of psalms tonight we will walk through the tenth of the psalm with me series two i welcome you to series two of volume five the fifth volume the fifth volume of the book of psalm thanks so much for returning for the for one more time to the place of prayer and for those who are just tuning in for the first time i welcome you to the place of prayer it's going to be awesome please let's declare this meeting this prayer conference let's declare it open the prayer of the psalmist we are going to walk through the tent of the psalmist but declare it open wherever you are in the mighty name of jesus i'm calling on people to begin to please declare it open wherever you are declare an open heaven speak to the heavens and say hear who heavens and listen no heart like let heaven be open unto you i'm, I'm speaking to you. clear your pathway to heavens that whatever you're going to say this hour will land before the throne of grace as in the days of the psalmist whatever was said at the time landed before the throne of grace and it was recorded for them there were books of prayers that Israel will never forget and heaven still uphold that it's still echoing into eternity someone who will rise up with me and clear their pathway that that which i will say also let it be registered let me decrease on one on that side what i will say tonight you came out let it be recorded you came out let it be said in time to come that uh, i was among them uh, someone on that uh, or the, the voice of my phone uh, on that my sound who will rise up you came out who will rise up with me i'm speaking to listeners i'm speaking to warriors i'm, I'm speaking to sons and daughters of zion who will rise up this very hour and declare the heaven open please help me walk around your tent walk around wherever you are begin to declare the airspace above you declare it open in the mighty name of Jesus release the fire of God we release the fire of God from the throne of grace, eh? the holy fire from the old throne of grace to sh to come down, Yekima, to clear the pathway. Every principalities, every power, anything that is hanging, that is looming, that is running, that is carving anywhere, anyhow, let them be consumed by fire. I release the fire of God to consume such spirit that is contrary to the spirits of God. I clear my airspace and every airspace right now in the mighty name of Jesus. As I'm broadcasting live from PRZ FM 109.2 uh, studio in London, I cover everywhere with the blood of jesus and everyone on that sound of my voice you are covered by his blood in the mighty name of jesus this blood they let the bible say he speaketh better things so i release the blood of jesus to begin to speak victory salvation right now mercy in the mighty name of jesus let it begin to speak great voice let it begin to speak great mysteries in the mighty name of jesus in this place of prayer in the mighty name of jesus please help me wake your altar someone under the sound of my voice and we ask for the fire of god fresh fire to fall on your altar the altar of prayer the wherever you are wherever you're standing to pray is your altar right now let the fire of god from the holy throne let it come down and revive the fire in the mighty name of jesus like in the days of the apostles the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 32, they said when he opened us to scriptures, it was like fire in our bones. I pray and I decree that as we open the scriptures together, may it be like fire in your bone. May it set everything within your being. Let it be set on fire in the, in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the fresh fire, the fresh anointing from the throne of grace. Jacob. I speak to your spirit, I speak to your soul to rise up to a place of prayer, to rise up and stand before the Lord, to rise up and speak before the throne of grace, to rise up and pray. Jacob. To rise up and touch heaven, Yekima. I speak to soul. I speak to warriors. I speak to daughters and sons of Zion. That rise up, wake up, wake the dawn with me, Yekima. I speak to dawn wakers. Let's wake the dawn together and declare this meeting open wherever you are. In the name of the Father, Yekima. In the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. And we all say, Amen. Please come with me. Let's begin to pray. Let's just pray one more prayer and say, God, begin to thank God. If I were you, someone or that, thank God for what he will do tonight. I said, the Lord will do great things. Let me say to someone and tap someone that tonight, I decree it, declare it before the throne of grace that this, this good God will do great things. In my life, begin to begin to say that, begin to prophesy, begin to proclaim, that I begin to speak out. Someone know that the sound of my voice, because the Bible says, day unto day, utter speech, and night unto night, or the, uh, uh, revealed knowledge. I speak to someone, I say, where their voice is not heard, according, according to Psalm 19, verse 3, they, there is no speech. Somebody needs to speak up and declare that tonight, this hour, this series, this tent, this moment, as they are rising up, they are rising up to victory, begin to declare in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to thank God 
write for the gift of life. Someone other the sound of my voice who is ready to write for the gift of life. For making it possible for you to be here. For making it possible to, re, to, to return to the place of prayer. To an altar of prayer. Someone other the sound of my voice. We will declare. We will pray that God I thank you God for what you are doing. For what you will do. For what you are about to do. Someone other the sound. And for what you will not do. Somebody has not spoken yet. I said help me rise up and beat your chest and walk up and down. That the good God that I know. There are things that you will not do. He is not a man that will lie. Neither the son of man that will lie. He came Makosoto begin to declare. I said there are things that he will not do. Because the Bible says whatever he says eh, will not come back void. According to Psalm, eh, according to Isaiah 55 verse 11. Let me say Isaiah 55 verse 11. Please draw it as a sword and wave it before the throne of grace. Eh, that for the word, the Bible says, that proceed out of my mouth, says the Lord, will not return to me empty, but will accomplish that which is places and which is purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. So I speak to someone who will wave this word before the Lord and remind God that what it is written tonight as I step, as I go into this prayer, whatever is coming out of your mouth, whatever you have pro uh, pro proclaimed, it will not go back void. Help me decree. Uh, that I thank God that it will not go back void in the mighty name of Jesus. It will fulfill the purpose that which you will release somebody under the sound of uh, the word of God that we release tonight uh, will not return empty in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that I am very confident of somebody helping go up and down and begin to say as far as I'm concerned the Bible says this word I, I hold the word of the, the the word of God that I will quote tonight they will turn into sword in my hand let me decree that I'm speaking to warriors I'm speaking to champions I'm speaking to winners I'm speaking to daughters and sons of Zion who always show up in the place of prayer who have understanding I'm speaking to men and women of understanding people who understand the, the, the things of God who seek the Lord and have an understanding of all things that's what the Bible calls them in Proverbs 28. Let me say Proverbs 28, verse, verse 5b. They are people who seek the Lord and they have understanding of things. I'm speaking to you. Please help me with your, with your, your the, the scriptures. Just wave it and say, Lord God, this, this word will become life. It will become as a two-edged sword, wherever I send it, it will pierce into every soul, into every spirit, into every joint, help me say every joint, into every marrow, into every taunt, even the thoughts, and it will discern the thought of the heart, and the attitude of it. This word that I will speak according to Hebrew chapter 4, verse 12, so be it in Jesus' mighty name, I speak to everyone under the sound of my voice, I said the word that you will release today, the prayer that you will release today, according to Psalm 119, help me say one verse 89 the bible says for forever oh god your word is settled so i declare oh god as we step out tonight that forever oh god your word is settled in jesus mighty mighty name and we all say amen the lord will honor you as you tune in in jesus mighty name i welcome you once again to the presence of the most high please turn your bible turn touch your bible turn around let's turn to the book of psalm today we are this very series we series two of the volume five we are going to cover the last uh, volume of the, uh, the 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 book of psalm the last volume start from from um from one from 107 right to to 150 so today is series two let me say series two and it's starting from psalm 113 let me say 113 right through to 118 so we're going to cover about six chapters tonight 113 to 118 in jesus mighty name if when you're ready i'm ready someone turn your bible but as you are turning it begin to speak as i touch it begin to say as i touch the anointing of god beginning as you make contact with the word of god as you touch the screen as you touch the paper as you touch your pen let the fire from the holy throne touch your hand in the mighty name of jesus let that word become life let them become power let them become spirit let them come to life to you in the mighty name of jesus as you look at it may you see god in between as you listen to it, may you hear God in the mighty name of Jesus. As you touch it, I pray for divine grace of God to rest upon your hand. Blessed be the hand that will touch the Bible tonight. Blessed be the hand that will touch the screen. Blessed be the eyes that will read it. And blessed be the ears that will hear the word of God that will be coming out tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you blessed. And I say to you one name that I have come in the name of the Lord God. I have come in the name of the Most High God. In Jesus' mighty name. For the Bible says, Blessed, blessed is he that come in the name that comes in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. And blessed are you that listen to it in Jesus' name. So let's turn our Bible to, to Psalm 113. This the the Psalm Yeah, Psalm 113. If you are there, this Psalm 113, uh, everyone, please let's meet. 
let's let's meet here 113 113 someone under the sound of my voice 113 in the name of jesus the lord will honor you psalm 113 is an uh, is an unknown the, the psalmist is unknown let me say it's an unknown psalmist it's unknown yeki makoso but we'll run through it someone under the sound of because the last known psalmist was 1110 that was the psalm of david 11110 110 109, 108, they were Psalms of David. Before then, they were unknown. And this one too is unknown. Psalm 113, help me tell, tap somebody, is unknown. But we are going to uh, camp, we are going to stand, we are going to walk through this psalm together in the mighty name of Jesus. All together, nine verses. Help me say nine verses. And the theme, uh, the, the, the main theme that runs through this psalm is the majesty of God. Help me say majesty of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's start as we write to, we will go with the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 1, please raise your voice. They say, Praise the Lord with exclamation. I'm speaking to someone. Praise, O servant of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So let me rise and start. At least the very first word you will step. As you step into the tent of this unknown psalmist, I'm speaking to someone. Psalm 113 is a word of praise. Somebody help me step. Step in with word of praise and shout to the heavens and make sure that you are heard in the holies of holies. That praise, O God, Yekime. Praise God, O servant of the Lord. Praise God, if I will mention my name. Praise God, Yekima Kosoro. Praise God, O warriors. Praise God, O sons and daughters of Zion. Praise God, somebody under the sound of my voice. I say, Praise God, Remy. Candidate, I will praise God. The candidate, I was praise God. PRZ FM or radio, whatever that needs prayer to praise God. Someone under the sound of my voice say it and will write with us in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 2 says, Blessed be the name of the Lord for this time forth and forevermore. Please help me declare it. I declare it, I say from this very moment uh, and forever, blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord would be, be blessed, Yekima, in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to dec decree as you are coming through in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to come down. For it is written, help me look at verse 3. Look at, for the rising of the sun, help me call, say it, to it going down. His name will be praised, help me declare it. From the rising of the sun, somebody under the sound of my voice, we will look around to the going down. His name will be praised from the morning of your life to the uh, to the evening. Yekimakosoto, let his name be, be praised. Somebody help me dec decree that. Uh, turn it into prayer. Let it turn into sword. Look around. I said from the, my morning time. Yekimakosoto, to the going down of the sun, to the going down to, to my evening time. Yekimakosoto, to the going down of the grave. Yekimakosoto, let the name of this God be remain great in my life. Be praised in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, begin to say so. Because in the book of Malachi. You can knock on the door of Malachi. Malachi chapter 1. Somebody don't understand my voice. Verse 11. It says the same thing. Because God himself said, from, he said, for from the rising of the sun to the going down, the Lord said, my name will be made great among the Gentiles. Somebody help me stand up and declare that, that according to the word, it is written in Malachi chapter 1 verse 11, that your name will be made among great among the Gentiles, among my enemies. If somebody has not spoken. Among Yekimakosa, every principalities and power, the name of the Lord will be made great from the morning to evening, from the rising of the sun to the time that he will go down. Yekimakosa, the name of the Lord will be made great if I were here, raise a banner. Somebody has Raise the banner before the Lord. Begin to wave it here, Makosoto. That in our house, in our tent, in our ministry, your name will be made great according to the scripture. In the mighty name of Jesus. Throughout our life, our lifetime, your name, O oh Lord God, will be made great. In the mighty name of Jesus, it reminds me of the word of Joshua. Help me say Joshua chapter 10. Somebody understand that? Verse 12. The Bible said, and Joshua said in that day, in the presence of Israel, I'm saying in the presence of the, the warriors, the sun stands still over Gibeon and you moon over the valley of Ajalon. He said, and the sun stood still. So somebody should rise up and speak to the rising of the sun and to the going down of it and speak that Yekima. At this junction, I will draw another sword. Let things stand still until you go through Yekima. But you must break through Yekima. The sun must stand, it must not go down for things to, for things to mani start to manifest in your life. Somebody, I'm speaking to someone. Before the going down to grief, you must fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. You speak to the sun, you speak to the day, you say, Hear ye the word of God. You see, you speak to time. That you must wait. You must stand still. I must fully accomplish everything that the Lord has proposed in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Before the going down of the sun this month. Somebody has not spoken. Before the going down of the sun today. Before the going down of the sun this year. I must also see the Lord. I must see the Lord. I must see the Lord. 
in Jesus' mighty name. For the Bible says in Isaiah 6, 1, the year, the day, the year that King Uzziah died, I also, I'm, I, I'm died, I also see the Lord. I saw, I, I, I'm, Isaiah saw the Lord. Somebody under the sound of my voice, you must see the Lord. In this year, in this season, before the going down of the sun, the sun must stand still. Joshua commanded it and it remains so. If you can rise with me as a warrior and speak in the presence of, the Bible says he spoke in the presence of Israel. Somebody speak in the presence of and walk around and say, hear O heavens and listen to her. Let the sun stand still. You must break through. Somebody help me say, speak to it that the day must not go back. No, you will not live a wasted life. That is what you are saying. That you must achieve something on time when it's still daytime. I'm speaking to someone who needs to speak to their daytime. That God, I must achieve something to be before in my daytime in the mighty name of jesus the lord will honor you as you lift your voice before the lord in jesus mighty mighty name amen 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 in jesus name please let's go down as we walk down through this scripture please let me look at the verse 4 the bible says and exalt the name of the lord the lord is higher above all the nations let me begin to decree his glory above all the heavens let me begin to declare that the lord is high above all nations high above all problems high above all situation his glory above all all the heavens begin to decree this this is verse 4 somebody on that psalm 113 as you are running through and a song is popping through my, uh, my my spirit right now he said bigger than all my problems bigger than all my fears bigger than all your worries bigger than all your fears god is bigger than every mountain bigger than all your fears god is bigger than every mountain that you cannot see i'm speaking to a word i said it's bigger than every mountain that i cannot see i say bigger than all your worries bigger than all your fears bigger than all your worries God. bigger than everything God is bigger than every mountain that you cannot see. Begin to declare that the Lord is higher above everything, above all nations, and His glory is above the heavens. As you decree, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, we pray. Please help me look at it. He said, verse 5, begin to say it. He said, who is like the Lord our God? I speak to someone who dwells on earth. I'm asking Yekima, who humbles himself to behold Yekima Koso. The things that are in heavens and in the earth. Yekima Koso. Please help me turn around. I said, who is like our God? Exactly the same song that will, that uh, this, uh, that Moses raised in the wilderness. The Exodus 15, verse 2. He said, who is like God? Who is like thee, O God, among the gods? Somebody help me turn around. Look at that situation, look at that circumstances and begin to declare that God, according to the word of God, in Psalm, as we are walking, walking through this time, with Psalm 113 verse 5, that who is like thee, O God, in all the earth, who is like you, begin to declare over every situation, there won't be anyone, there is no one like the Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Let me look at verse 4, and verse 7, as we walk through, he raises the poor out of the door, somebody has not spoken, and he lifts the needy out of the arch uh, heap, so he will do it again, I'm speaking to someone, whatever the situation, financial situation, emotional situation. I said the Lord will raise somebody out of the dust. So help me pray and stand and stand right. Help me pray and draw this thought very well in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Pray that he will, he will do it again. He will raise every situation, every ugly situation, everything that looks so poor. He will raise it out of the dust. He will turn it around. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you pray, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. The Bible says that, let me look at verse 8, because I want us to pray. Draw it as a sword. It said that he may sit with him with princes and with princes of his people. That the Lord will sit with him. Somebody needs to speak. He, he will sit with your children. Help me pray. He will sit with you, with princes. He will sit you down with princes, with kings, with princes of his people. Then you'll be seated. Help me say, I'll be seated. Somebody help me decree that. Because the Bible says in Daniel, let me say Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter 6, a verse 3. Daniel, somebody on that stand Daniel, I remember Daniel very well. The Bible says he was preferred above the president, above the princes, because, he had, he, he, because of a, an excellent, excellent spirit was upon him. Somebody under the sound of my voice who will rise up and say, God, you will make me to sit, begin to talk. You will make me to sit uh, with the kings, with the princesses, with the, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray as you pray, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. As we turn the Bible, I say the Lord will make you to sit. Because the Bible says in Ephesians, Ephesians in the book of Ephesians, if you knock on them, chapter 2, verse 6, it said, and God raised us with, with us up with Christ. He said, he raised us 
us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly places. Somebody help me declare. If you have been made seated in heavenly places, whatever is sitting that is contrary to the spirit of God in your life, let that thing unseat it in the mighty name. Whatever is sitting in that marriage, whatever is sitting in that business, whatever is sitting with you right now, whatever is contending with you, whatever is struggling with you, I'm speaking to a warrior, I'm speaking to daughters and sons of Zion, whatever, on the, no matter, ne nevertheless, whatever it is, I say we have been made seated with Christ. Whatever is contrary to that, that is sitting in my life, that is sitting in my home, that is sitting in my marriage, that is sitting in the life of my children, that is sitting in ministry, I'm speaking to a warrior, I'm speaking to a pastor, I say whatever, that is sitting, that is contrary, let's unseat them, I unseat them right now in this place of prayer, before the throne of grace, and before you saints, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so shall it be. Because it is written, let me look for another scripture. I, I'm talking about sitting. There, I want you to zero in here and pull it out. It's Psalm, Psalm 81. Say 61. 61 verse 7. 61 verse 7. I, I, I like the NIV version of it. It says, but he, may he enthrone, may he be enthroned in God's presence. Forever appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. May you be enthroned. It's a prayer for children. May you be enthroned. I'm speaking to someone. May I be enthroned. Mention in Remiken de Taiwo. I'll be enthroned in the God's presence. I will abide. Another version says, I will abide. We shall abide before the Lord forever in his presence. Somebody help me say, those that we sit with the Lord, those that Christ is sitting next to, they will unseat every contrary, every power, every principality. You must unseat. You must dethrone in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written, help me say it, Psalm. 61 verse 7 pull it out niv version he said he, now he shall be enthroned the lord will enthrone you came out he, he, he will enthrone you in god's presence you will be enthroned he will sit you down in high places you will be made seated you'll be enthroned you'll be seated in the place of honor somebody has not spoken that will be seated in the mighty name of jesus as i'm passing through here in jesus mighty name the lord will Oh, no, you please let's read the last one as we're coming out quickly in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, He grant the barren woman a home like a joyful mother of children. Please let me pull this out. He grant a barren woman a home and like a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. Verse 9. Somebody help me. Pray. Whosoever is believing. I said a barren woman. The barren home. The barren man. The barren business. The barren. I'm talking about the barren church. Everything that is barren. If you begin to speak to it. That barren business. Begin to speak to it. But the Bible says. Help me. You, you grant it. Everyone that is barren. A home. You grant them a life. You grant them. Begin to say. And you make them a joyful mother. A joyful father. Of children. Somebody under the sound of my voice. We will run. We will stand in gap. We will speak. We will speak before the truth of grace and the lord we honor in the mighty name of jesus for there is a scripture that is coming through that is you, you help me wave it before the throne of grace wave it like a sword in the exodus 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 23 26 exodus 23 26 exodus 23 26 it says no woman it is written help me wave it before the lord it is written no woman in your land in this land will miscarriage or will be will be barren they will fulfill the numbers of their days there's somebody on that stand of my voice who will rise up with me that it is written no one among us will miscarry you will not miscarry plan vision will not be aborted your vision will not be aborted dream will not be aborted pregnancy will not be aborted no no woman no man yekima will miscarry or will be barren in this land in this ministry in this place somebody help me begin to pray in our home in our tent in the mighty name of jesus for it is written wave it before the lord wave it let it be turned into salt let it begin to turn around wave it by faith wave it with all your heart and say god it is written according to your word in exodus exodus 23 26 no one among us in our, my home, in my lineage, in my generation will be barren in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your answer shall prosper. For also he reminded them in Deuteronomy, let me say Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 14. Let me pull that out. 7, verse 14. Deuteronomy 7, verse 14. It says again, You will be blessed above all people. I speak to someone, I'm speaking to a warrior, I'm speaking to daughters of Zion. I said, Among all people, he said, You'll be blessed, and no one will be barren. He came repeated, he said, That was repeated to them. No one will be barren. Sigh before the train of grace. So, whosoever is under the sound of my voice, may you be able to speak this out in the mighty name of Jesus. It is written, No one will, it is written, uh, written, no one will be barren in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone under the sound of my, you will not be barren in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. 
Amen. The Lord will honor you. Begin to speak. Every voice of barrenness, help me pray. Speaking against my destiny, speaking against my fruitfulness, in Jesus' name, be silent. Somebody begin to raise it. I will zero in here. We will speak in here. We will camp in here before we move forward. It is one one under the sound of my voice. We will speak to every form of barrenness in the marriage, in the business, in their life, in their spirit, in their spiritual growth. He say, hear ye the word of God. The every voice of barrenness, barrenness, Speaking against my fruitfulness, begin to say, Be silent, be silent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Begin to pray that prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to speak that I receive the reward of the fruit of the womb. Because the Bible says in Psalm 127, verse 3, that lo, I speak to someone. Children are heritage. I speak to someone of the Lord. Fruit of the womb is, is the reward. So begin to speak. I receive the reward of the Lord. The reward of the fruit of the womb is the day. He said, the, the, the children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is a reward it is a reward begin to rise up god it is a reward either you are looking for a baby or you are trusting god for fruitfulness in your business in your marriage whatever it is in your spirit in your spiritual work you speak yeke makosoro but god it is a reward begin to speak before the throne begin to walk up and down but god is a reward or if you have somebody you want to pray for stand in the gap i'm speaking to intercessors i said it is a reward in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus if i were you i wouldn't leave it i would say lift up your head so you get off barrenness you came more cost water and be thou lifted up in the mighty name of jesus i will swing it i will fling it i will yank it i will push it anyhow the gate of barrenness in every areas of our life must be must be lifted in the mighty name of jesus jesus every siege against it i come against it with the blood of jesus i come against it in the blood of jesus with the blood of jesus in the mighty name of jesus as you pray so shall it be in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I speak to someone now, the sound of my voice. I say, hear ye the word of the Lord. He came across the, road. He said, the Bible says in Genesis 18, verse 14, I speak to someone the word that is coming through. The Lord says, is there anything too hard for me to do? Then he came across the road. I speak to someone, I said, Genesis 18, verse 14, the word of the Lord to Sarah. I said, is there anything too hard for me to do? At the appointed time, I speak, he came out. I will return unto thee according to the time of life. If you believe it, pull it out. If you believe it, claim it. If you believe it, write it down. Genesis Genesis 18 verse 14, Yeke Makosoro. He said, is there anything hard for me to do? I'm speaking to someone. Yeke Makosoro. At the appointed time, hear ye the word of God. And he will return. I speak to someone. I speak to the daughter of Zion. I speak to the son of Zion. I speak to warriors. I'm speaking to pastors. I say, he will return. Yeke The Lord will return at, according to, uh, at the appointed time. I say, he will surely visit you. I'm speaking to someone on the sand of, who will shout, Yeke for joy in the mighty name of Jesus. For the word of God came through Isaiah. As we are coming out, begin to come out of Psalm 133. Begin to come out the word of god came out of isaiah isaiah said in isaiah 54 let me write it down isaiah 54 verse 1 to 5 he says shout i speak to someone as you are coming out come out of psalm 133 Three, one, one, three. Come out and begin to wave the word of. We begin to wave the word out and say, but it is written. Let me say it. Isaiah fifty-four, verse one to five. Shout for joy! I speak to son. Oh, you barren, you who have born no child, break forth into joyful shouting. Cry out aloud, you who have not travelled. I speak to someone. Enlarge the place of your tent. Ye came I speak to a mother and say, stretch out the curtain of your dwelling. Ye came. Spare not. Lengthen your cord. Strengthen your pegs. Ye came. For you with spread abroad to the right let me say amen to the left let me say amen your seed will possess the nation and they will resettle in desolate places unclaimed land in the mighty name of jesus i speak to someone according to the word of god in isaiah 54 verse 4 he said fear not for you will not be put to shame i speak to someone you will do not feel humiliated that is the word of god coming true for you will not be disgraced but you will not forget the shame you but you will forget the shame of your youth and the reproach of your widowhood you will remember them no more that is the word of god coming through for verse 5 of isaiah 54 says and i quote that for you you for your husband for your, your husband your maker is your husband whose name is the lord of hosts and your redeemer the only one of israel who is called the god of all the earth if you believe it come out let's come out in jesus mighty name in Jesus' mighty name, let's begin to write to. Let's turn our Bible, everyone, on that sound of my voice. Please turn your Bible with me to Psalm 114. 114. And we will see the Lord together in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. This is volume 5, somebody on that sound of my voice. Series 2. We are covering 113 right to 118. So turn your Bible to 114 in the mighty name of Jesus. 
another psalm and pinch and stand at this tent at the entrance of this tent the tent of the psalmist the, the prayer of the psalmist the work of the psalmist we are going to walk through eight verses all together psalm 114 unknown unknown psalmist but we stand but the theme of this psalm is the power of God in the deliverance of Israel help me say power of God so I need warriors to stand up I need warriors to position themselves this is the power of God somebody wants to see the power you need to walk through this walk through this and begin to proclaim he said verse 1 let me say verse 1 psalm 114 verse 1 when israel went out of egypt i speak to someone and the, the house of jacob from the people of strange language so somebody helped me personalize when remy he came out he went out of bondage he came out because egypt stands for bondage he came out when a warrior came out of bondage he came out and the house of jacob he came out out of people of strange behavior he came out strange spirit he came out strange language he came out Somebody personalize it, begin to say, walk through and follow it. He said, Judah became a sanctuary. He came across, begin to say it. Our tent became the sanctuary. Our house became a sanctuary. And Israel is dominion. Begin to declare it before the throne of grace. Let heaven open he came across, as we clear it in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to personalize it as you go through in Jesus' mighty name. He said, And the sea saw it hey, and fled. And Jordan turned back. Verse 3. Somebody help me begin to speak to that situation, to that circumstances, to those challenges, to those problems problems to those mess begins to stand up that hear you the word of God you will see the Lord in my life and you will flee he came across they said they see saw it and he fled so every sea of life he helped me say it every circumstances hear you the word of God every ugly situation hear the word of God you will flee in the mighty name of Jesus Jordan turn back so I turn back every begin to every strange water every deep water hear you the word of God I turn you back begin to turn me back in the mighty name of Jesus because the Bible says when the Lord turned back, back the captivity of Zion. So that is a turning back. So I turn back every situation, begin to turn back, begin to command it to turn back, begin to command it, command it to turn back. In the mighty name of Jesus, right? the sea saw it. Uh, please help me pull another scripture that is coming through. The Bible says in Psalm 24, it says Psalm 24, verse 1 to 2. It said, the, the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. I'm speaking to the, the world, and they that dwell in it. He has founded it, I'm speaking to the, upon the sea, which is the truth in this instance, and establish it upon the streams, which is faith. Here came out, that is coming through. I said, he has founded it, I'm speaking it to someone, upon the sea. Here came out, I said, and establish it upon the streams. So I will speak to every sea of life. I say, hear ye the word of the Lord. The land, the earth is the Lord and the fullness and everything thereof. So I claim the sea. Begin to see, claim the sea. I claim the stream. I say, hear ye the word of God. I claim the earth that ye came out. I say, they belong to the Lord. Ye came out. Yeah, as you are a child of God, walk on it. Ye came out. Step on it. Ye came out. Right through it in, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not sink. Help me pray. I will not sink. Yeah, I will not sink. I will not drown in the mighty name of Jesus as I walk through in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, he that walks over water is with me. Help me pray. You will not sink. There is no way I will, I will not sink in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone under the sand, you will not sink. Begin to say, I, I am coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. I remember the work of Abba, the word of the Lord by Habaku. Help me say, Abaku, a prophet. Abaku, a prophet in Israel. Chapter 3, verse 15. Help me borrow it quickly as you are walking through it. Habaku says something very vital. Chapter 3, verse, verse 15. Say, you walk <laughs> through the sea and with your horses through the it's of great waters great waters great business those are great waters they are not troubled waters they are great waters they are waters that bring in money home i'm speaking to someone that this sea yeke, that we flee you have to differentiate somebody on that sand of mine that this same god yeke, the bible says he walked over uh, through the sea yeke, with horses yeke. he will ride through if you ride with the spirit of the most high god if you ride with the host of heavens you will ride through with the horses with him we are, and through the heaps of great waters great waters abaco 3 15 may the lord ride through may the Lord step in, may the Lord trample through every sea of life that you might be passing through in the mighty name of Jesus. You will walk through in victory in Jesus' mighty name. Help me look at four. He said, The mountains skip like ram, begin to declare, and the sea, like, like lamp, begin to de decree and speak to every mountain that here is the one they must shift in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let mountains begin to shift before you. They must keep, help me say, they must move. They must move because the Bible says, Jesus said, If you have the faith, you can say to this mountain, Be moved, and it will be moved. Somebody say to the mountain, Speak to the mountain because even the 
word of the prophet. Help me say the word of Micah. Micah. Micah chapter 6 verse 2. Help me write it. Pull it out. Draw it out. Micah chapter 6 verse 2. Say, ear, O mountain. Some, something, anything with a name we have ears is a spiritual order. It's very deep. It's the deep thing of the spirit. Begin to speak to mountain. Even mountain can hear. I speak to someone. I say, ear, O mountain. That's what the prophet said. He came in the word of the word of God. By the prophet, he said, Hear, O mountain, uh, the Lord in dictament, uh, you enduring foundation of the earth. For the Lord has, has made a case against his people, and it will argue it against Israel. He, he said, Hear, O mountain, please stop, Mother, me begin to speak to the mountains that according to the word of God in, in uh, Michael 6 2. Help me say, Michael 6 2. Mountains must hear and give way in the mighty name of Jesus as you are walking through. May you walk through successfully tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And thus begin to he said, What ails you, O sea, that you fled? That is a question, that is a challenge. Help me throw it out. What ails you that you you, uh, you fled? Oh Jordan, that you turn back, oh mountain, that you skip like ram. Verse 6. Oh little ills like lamp. I'm speaking and I'm walking through Psalm 114. 114. Begin to declare, begin to throw the challenge. I said, What ails you? It is a question. What ails you? Why are you limping? Why are you jumping? What ails you? In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to challenge everything that is standing. And say to them, what is you that you are jumping in the mighty name of Jesus? In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I, I, verse 7 says, Treble, O hath, at the presence of the Lord. Command it. Not that we want to do it. Treble, O hath. Shake, O hath. Respect, O hath. Humble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, I speak to the earth, I speak to the sea, I speak to the heavens, I say, or oh, not the Lord in my life in the mighty name. I speak to situation and circumstance, a powers of municipalities and darkness. I say, hear ye the word. You will tremble at the, at the mention of the name of the Lord in the mighty name. At the presence of the Lord, somebody help me pull it out, pull it out. So, verse 7, pull it out, let it become a sword. Draw it, Yekima, at the presence of the God of Jacob, Yekima. I say, at the presence of the Lord Jacob, because Psalm 24, verse 7, this is the generation of you, that, the, those that seek the face of God, O Jacob, the God of Jacob, Yekima, that seek your face, O Jacob, Yekima, O God of Jacob. Help, help me draw it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the earth tremble. Let every situation be turned into shake. As you are coming out, you are coming out victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of God in the deliverance of Israel, in the deliverance of a warrior, in the deliverance of a son and a daughter of Zion, who is running, who is charging, who is going through it with all their faith in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord we honor you. Please step, help me step out and begin to uh, to worship the Lord. Well, check yourself. Make sure you are fully alert. Make sure you are fully awake and turn your Bible. Please turn your Bible as you turn. Let the power of God begin to come down on you in Jesus' mighty name. Please turn your Bible to Psalm 115. Help me say 115. The Psalm of the unknown psalmist. Uh, stay at this tent. The unknown psalmist. Begin to pray. There is about the fertility of idols and the trustworthiness of God. This is what it's all about. So we are going to jump. Help me say we will jump. We will go through, but we will jump through in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me look at verse 1 as you declare it. He said, Not unto us, O Lord, ye came across the Not unto us. Unto you, your, unto you, on, but to your name, we give all the glory. Somebody on that stand on my, who is ready to thank the Lord? Who wants to give it all to him? We will release everything to you. That Take all the glory. Not unto us, O God. Not unto us, O Lord. We will repeat it, ye came out. And say, To your name, ye came out. To your name, O God, be, we give all the glory. And because of your mercy, because of your mercy, and your grace over our life somebody has not spoken because of your truth he said we give it all to you now, verse 2 let me go through it as you declare the presence of god as the glory of god as you release it before the blood verse 2 says psalm 115 115 verse 2 says why should the gentiles say so where is their god please let me stay here please help me zero in i am asking someone i'm asking a warrior who will pull this one out let it yekima why should um is a question why would they say where is my god you need to beat your chest here who would say it where is my god challenge that person why would they say it is a question what could make anyone to say it never let it not be heard yekima let it not be said i speak to someone tell it not in gath yekima tell it not in london yekima tell it not in africa yekima tell it not in america Tell it not in Gath the word of God, the word that came through from David in Second Samuel chapter one verse twenty. He said, "Tell it not in, in pro, proclaim it not in the street of uh, Ascalon, lest the daughters of the Philistines should be glad, lest the daughters of the uncircumcised, the unbelievers, lest they rejoice." 
I speak to someone who will stand with me. I speak to someone who will draw this out. I speak to someone who will hold on to it. Why is a question? Why will the Gentiles, why would a non-believer say to me, where is my God? I stand here and I decree. You need to begin to speak out. Because Nehemiah said one thing. We've said it before. 4-4. Four, four, he said, hear, yeah, oh God. Somebody help me report. We are, uh, how? <laughs> For we are despised. Turn their reproach upon their own head and give them back. Somebody under the sound of my voice. We will stand there. Why? 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 will the Gentiles say to me so where is their God please let me pull that out in the mighty name of Jesus they will not have any reason to say that to you you reject it as you are coming out as you are stepping through no no one will call man or beast will not stand before you and challenge and ask you where is your God in the mind no one will ask me that question it will never happen tell it not no in the mighty name of Jesus not under his watch, I speak to someone in the mighty name of because the psalmist says in Psalm 25, let me write it, Psalm 25 verse 2, he said, in you, my God, I trust. Let me not be ashamed. You will not be put to shame. Somebody help me raise the days as you are coming. Let not my enemy, let them not rejoice over me in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemy will not rejoice over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Another one says, even in Psalm 35, with Patrick verse 19, he says, let, do not let those ones, do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them go over me with thy cause somebody under the sound of my voice we will run through this and crush the the verse two and wave it before the throne of grace that let it not be said in the mighty name of jesus nobody beat your chest walk up and down we ask me this question never in, in this life and the one to come you came out not in this life and even the one to come you came out begin to not in this very life and the one to come. no man or beast will stand before me and before the throne of grace and ask me where is my god nothing or no situation we ask that question in the mighty name no silent questions in the mighty name circumstances will not ask you that question somebody has not said amen i said situation will not ask you that question in life that where is your god i reject it i rebook it i cancel it i delete it i remove such day i delete them i rewrite let them be rewritten before the tunnel that such day will never come to in in my life not in this life let me say not in this life let me say not this or the one to come in the mighty name of jesus the lord will hear you as you run through in the mighty name of jesus we are going to jump let me say jump you are going to jump through with me for me in the mighty name of jesus as we run through in the mighty name of jesus uh, he said but god our god is in heaven he does what he pleases they said their idols if you quickly they are silver and gold they are work of uh, men's hand they have mouth but they cannot speak let me begin to de decree the devil will not be able to speak they will not they, they, are, they have mouth but they will not speak let me just turn into flip it around turn into prayer verse five they have mouth begin to say it they, my enemy they have mouth but they will not speak the devil has mouth but he will not speak begin to say it they have eyes they have but they do not see they will not see you have not spoken i said they will not see verse 6 begin to flip it around begin to turn it around make sure you are doing something with this word they have ears but they will not hear they will not hear me in the mighty name of jesus he said they have uh, and even though they are idols, their principalities and power, they are enemies of progress, enemies of the Lord. I speak and I say they have and but they will not be able to handle. They cannot handle you. Help me decree that. Uh, turn it into prayer. Flip it around. They will not handle. He came. He said they have legs, they have feet, but they will not walk. They do not walk. They will not walk. Begin to situation as uh, all this ugly thing will not work. They will not walk into your life. They will not walk into you. They will not walk in your path. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you decree, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, in, Amen. Please quickly help me dec decree. Verse nine. O Israel. Trust in the Lord. Somebody speak to yourself. If nobody will talk to you, hold this one and pull it out. Oh, Remy, I speak to myself. <laughs> Trust in the Lord. I can encourage myself. For he is your help and your shield. Somebody has not spoken. I said, Oh, Remy, Yekimakoso. Trust in the Lord. He is your strength and your refuge. If you believe it, begin to say it. For in Psalm, let me write it, Psalm, Psalm, the Psalm of Korah, the sons of Korah, in, in 84. Let me say 84, verse 11. He says, But for the Lord is a son and a shield. Let me, the, the Lord will give grace and glory. <laughs> No good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. Help me decree that as you stand in the, before the throne of grace tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will honor you. 
in Jesus mighty name begin to decree that begin to declare that uh, that oh Israel let me say it Psalm 115 uh, verse 9 oh Israel trust in the Lord and as you decree in the mighty name of Jesus uh, verse 10 says oh house of Aaron trust in the Lord begin to call yourself oh house of Remy Kendi Tyro oh house of a warrior oh house of uh, begin to mention your trust in the Lord speak to yourself for it is your help and your shield begin to say it because whosoever fear the Lord and trust in the Lord is always their help I speak to someone and their shield in the mighty name of Jesus begin to come out and begin to ride through for the Lord has, has been merciful, mindful of us he will bless us because in Psalm 8 verse 4 he said he's mindful he visits us who is man that you visit him that you are mindful of him who is man that you visit him he's mindful of us please help me run through and begin to write through the words in the mighty name of the write through because he will, he will bless the house of Israel he will bless the house of Remi he will bless the house of a warrior that is under my voice he will bless the house of a mother in Israel who is rising and praying. He will bless the house of somebody, a daughter, he rising up and praying. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless our house, begin to declare it. Because verse 13 said, He will bless those who fear him, both small and great. He will bless us, begin to. He will bless everyone in my tent, begin to say, both small and great, both young and old, begin to declare it. In our church, in your territory, in your nation, the Lord will bless us in the mighty name. In this place, I speak to everyone on the side of my voice who is praying along, either now in future. I say, He will bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. So be it in Jesus' mighty name. Please let me pray. I wanted to stand on this before we wrap up. He said, May the Lord give you increase more and more. If that is a prayer, help me say, Amen. You and your children, Yeke Makoso, may you be blessed verse 14 happy zero in may the lord give you increase begin to pray for increase and if i were you i will break every limitation placed upon my life begin to break it i break off i yank off i take out any out every limitation satanic limitation satanic embargo somebody has not prayed. every ceiling every spirit of don't go too far yeah came don't go too big every that spirit that smallness i crush it in the mighty name of jesus for it is written the little one shall become the thousand the small one a great nation the lord will Speed it up according to the word of God in Isaiah 60 22. I speak to someone, every limitation I break it, begin to break yours in Jesus' mighty name. Another one, he begin to pray for increase because the prayer of Jabez, he prayed in First Chronicle. Help me say First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 10. And I want you to pray it. He said, Bless me indeed. Somebody help me rise up. That God there is blessing. The blessed indeed is another level. Begin to make sure you add indeed to it. So God bless me indeed. Rise up and pray. Bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast. Somebody on that sound of my was. Enlarge my coast. Let your hand be upon me. Keep me from evil in, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that the Lord will keep you from evil. The prayer of Jabez in First Chronicle, Let me say First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 10. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray as a Rounding up, someone on that sound of my voice, that your mouth will, the Lord will enlarge your mouth over your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. That was the prayer of Hannah. He said, I enlarge my mouth. You have enlarged my mouth over my enemy. Somebody help me pray. The prayer of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 1. Begin to pray out that may the Lord enlarge you, your mouth over your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. As you pray, you, may you be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone that the, the Lord will increase you exceedingly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ according to what he told in, in, uh, Jacob in Genesis chapter 30, let me say 30, verse 30, 43. May the Lord increase you in, uh, greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, Someone who is trusting God, he said, Begin to pray that God increase my greatness, comfort me on every side. Somebody has not spoken yet. Hey, walk up and down, stay awake, stay alert in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for it is written. Let me say it is written. Psalm, Psalm, if you can run down to the book of Psalm, Psalm 71, verse 21. For it is written, written, uh, written. That that you will increase my honor and you will comfort me once more. You will increase my honor. Let honor increase. Somebody has no spirit. I say honor must increase in Psalm 71, verse 21. Say so. That was it is written up in wavy before the Lord. That you will increase me. You will increase my greatness. You will comfort me on every side. Somebody help me pray. If you believe it, so be it. So if you believe it, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let those who believe it, let them shout in the mighty name of Jesus. That in this house, in this tent, Lord, we are here you will increase our greatness hey, you have not spoken you will increase our greatness and you will comfort us on every side as you say so may so be it in jesus name for the bible says jesus grew up in wisdom and in stature in stature so i will say let me increase oh god in wisdom and in stature in the mighty name your children must increase in the mighty name of jesus as you step out of this in jesus mighty name amen
We pray in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please help me pray for increase that you will flourish like a palm that grows like, like a cedar, a cedar in Lebanon. You will flourish. You will increase. The Bible says those that are planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in His courtyard. Somebody needs to flourish in the house of the Lord. Somebody needs to flourish. Jake Makosoto begin to say that according to Psalm 92, verse 12 and 13, you will flourish in His courtyard in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord establish you as you come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Please let me look at verse 17. It says, The dead shall not do not praise the Lord, nor anyone will go down into silence. Help him rise up. Oh, the dead cannot praise God. Someone under the sound of him begin to ask for more grace. Eh? That the dead cannot praise God. So you must be alive. You need to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the psalmist says in Psalm 6, verse 5, let me say 6, verse 5, he said, There is no remembrance of you in the grave. We will give you thanks to you. So the dead cannot praise the Lord. So you must be alive to give praises to the Lord. That is what you are saying. That God, as long as I live, I want to give praises, but I must live, Jekima. So spare my life. That is what you are saying. The dead cannot praise you. Somebody other than the man. We will rise up. We will go up. We will speak and say, God, I want to give praises in the land of the living, not in the grave. Because the dead cannot praise you, God. According to the word of God, begin to decree, begin to declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. Even the psalmist says in 116 verse 9 that, God, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living, not the land of the dead. Somebody has not spoken. I say in the land of the living, in the mighty name of Jesus. As you decree, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord will honor you. Begin to make your way out of this as you turn your Bible with me in the mighty name of Jesus. And we run through the rest in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to pray for 116 and 117. We'll wrap it up at 117. Please raise your voice with me. This is a thanksgiving for deliverance from death. Say thanksgiving from deliverance from death. It's a thanksgiving if you raise your voice and raise it up and say, Lord, unknown, unknown psalmist, no name, unknown psalmist, 19 verses altogether, but we're going to jump. So you're going to jump very well with me tonight. I love the Lord begin to declare. As you step in, the very first word you say, as you step in into this, uh, into this tent, the tent, the psalm of David, the, psalm, the unknown psalmist, but it's a thanksgiving for deliverance from death. So you need to pray very well. You need to pray out. I'm speaking to someone. We will raise their voice tonight and say, but I love the Lord begin to declare because he has heard me my voice and my supplication not somebody else he heard my voice begin to declare begin to mention your name in our house he heard us and walked through in the mighty name of Jesus because verse 2 says because he has inclined his ears to me therefore I will call upon him as long as I live somebody who will declare is a prayer is a promise who will walk around that because you have listened to me because you always listen to me I will forever live and will talk to you call upon you in the mighty name of Jesus you will not walk the path of destruction, the path of darkness. Your children will call on the Lord. Help me say it. They will grow in the knowledge of the Lord. They will increase in grace. Help me begin to decree in the mighty name of Jesus. He was talking about death that surround him. But please help me jump. Help me skip. Be begin to skip and begin to reject every spirit, every pain of death. Because that was what he went through. He said, I reject every pain of uh, death as I walk through this in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to skip it. Because verse 4 says, he, he, but when I call upon the name of the Lord, he delivered my soul. He will deliver somebody's soul tonight as you're walking through this thing in the mighty name of Jesus. If you can stand with me and declare before the throne of grace that gracious is the Lord, verse 5, and righteous, yes, our God is merciful. Declare the mercy of God. Declare it in the heavens. Let them hear you. Let it come from your soul. Let it come from your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Please help me speak at number uh, verse 7, Psalm 116. Help me say 116, verse 7. There is a sword there. Please help me pull it out. If you pull it out gently, it says, return to your rest, O my soul. I speak to someone. I speak to a warrior. I speak to sons and daughters of Zion. This is a word you mustn't forget. This is a word you drag along all day or the, throughout the, the battle of life. Drag it along. He said, return to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has drawn bountifully with you. Begin to speak to yourself. Anyone that is worried, anyone, begin to call yourself back. Everyone that is wandering off into the land of unknown, land of fear, land of doubt, I speak to you, land of sickness, land of death, at the gate of death, I call you back. I said, return back. Begin to speak. I speak to my business. I speak to my money. I speak to... Begin 
to speak to something, somebody. I speak to my spirit. I speak to my soul. I speak to my ministry. I speak to the church. I speak to my nation. Whatever you need to speak to, need to return to a rest place, a resting place. Begin to say, return to your rest. Begin to speak to it. Begin to call it out. Oh, my soul, Yekimako. Oh, my God. Oh, my children. Return back to your rest, Yekime. And for, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. You will not go into the land of unknown. You will not walk into death, into the land of the dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will hear you. For verse 8 says, For you have delivered my soul from death and my eyes from tears. Somebody other than my voice who will declare that, that no more weeping. Let me say it. Verse 8. He has delivered my soul from death. Begin to dig. He delivered us from death. Begin to say it. And our eyes from tears begin to sit and wipe them. No more tears, let me say. No more tears, because no more death. You have wiped us. You have wiped it away from us. Verse 8, in the mighty name of death. And our feet from falling. So we will not sleep. Let me say it. You will not falter. You will not walk into error. You will not walk into pit. Begin to say it. Your children will not drop into pit. I will not walk into the pit of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not walk into mess. In the mighty name. Because he said he delivered our soul from death. Let me verse 8. Please pull it out. That is another sword you must work with in the mighty name of Jesus. I will keep your feet from falling. The feet of your children from falling. The feet of your husband and wife from falling. The feet of Remy Kende Tyro from falling as I draw this out before the throne of grace and before the saints in Jesus mighty mighty name. Please let me look at 116 verse 9. Jump and look at verse 9 as we are going. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. That is a declaration. That is a promise. That is a determination. Someone under the sound of my voice who will not who is ready to walk before the Lord in the land of the living, not in the dead, in the land of the dead, not in the grave. Please, we say this, we speak this, as far as I live, I will walk before the Lord, only in the land of the living. I will not find myself in the land of the dead. Ye came in the strange land, in a strange place, in a strange begin to situation. You will not find yourself among strange people, among dead people, someone under the sand of her. You will not walk in the land of nightmares. Somebody has not. The arrows that flies by day and the terror of the night will not capture me in the mighty I ye came across begin to say it in the name of Jesus I pray and I decree in this place and this time I stand before the throne of grace I stand before the saints I declare begin to declare that you will not walk you can begin to say it you will not walk and you will only walk before the Lord in the land of the living as you decree so be it in Jesus mighty name please let me jump to verse 12. It says, what shall I render to the Lord? I speak to someone for all his benefit towards me. What shall I render? It's a song. What shall I render? Yekimakos. What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? Yekimakasatral. I will praise your God. I will shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you? Somebody, if that's the song, begin to pull it out. That song, you find it in this verse, verse 12. It says, what shall I render? Somebody who is looking around, render everything. You can render praises. You can render thanks given you can wave before him you can dance before him you can clap but whatever you do it with all your heart and render something before the throne of grace someone under the sound of my voice render something in the mighty name of jesus whatever you're rendering right now may the lord accept it whatever you may it become a sweet aroma before the lord may it be acceptable in his sight in jesus mighty mighty name please you will help me jump you will help me jump into verse 4, 16 he say oh lord truly i am your servant i'm your servant the son of meat and, and you have losing my soul i will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving verse 17 and I will call upon your name. I will pay my vows. Verse 18. That's where I'm going as I'm coming out. Oh Lord. Now now in the presence of the people, I will pay my vows. Because the psalmist says, let me say, Psalm 865 verse 1. He said, praise await you. Somebody begin to say it as you come out. Oh Lord God in Zion, unto you, O God, as I come out of this tent, as I walk out in this season, in this time, O Lord God, praise await you, O God in Zion. Unto you I have come to pay my vows, to fulfill my vows. I will return. I will pay my vows. Because verse 18, let me say verse 18 of 119, 116, as you are coming out, it says, I will pay my vows to the Lord. May the Lord give you the grace to pay your vows. The, the vows of thanksgiving, the ta vows of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. May the devil not scare you off in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Please come with me to 117 as we wrap up here. 117, someone under the sound of my voice. We will wrap up with me at 117, just two verses. No unnamed uh, psalmist. Please come here as we begin to worship the Lord and begin to exalt his holy name in the Psalm 117. 117, two verses. Someone under the sound of my voice. Please turn around and begin to worship the Lord. Say, Praise the Lord. I speak to the, all you Gentiles. All you nation. Let, proclaim his name. All you people begin to say it. 
verse 2 says, For his mercy and kindness, for his merciful kindness is great towards us. Declare it as you step out. Declare it as you're going. Declare it as you're riding through. Declare it as you're making your way. Declare it as you're going to the throne room. Declare it as you're making your way to the holies of holy. Declare it Yekim, as you're riding through. Yekim, out of the heavens and the high places. I say, but his loving, his merciful kindness is great towards us. In our house, personalize it. In this place, Yekim, in this season, oh God, you and the truth of God endures forever. Praise the Lord, Yekim. That's verse 7. Two verses they say, Praise the Lord, someone on that. They should very short say, Praise the Lord. Two verses say, Let all the people praise the Lord. Let everyone on that sound of my voice who is listening to this praise the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. In this, this season, I pray and I decree whatever you release before the Lord, may it be accepted in his sight in the mighty name of Jesus. May he make a sweet aroma before the Lord as you are rolling, as you're shouting, as you're screaming, as you're saying, God. But at the sound of praises, we not cease in our house. Help me decree that as you're stepping out, that we will continually have cause to praise you God in the mighty name of Jesus begin to say it as you are coming out that Lord God we thank you for making today for making it oh God I made it your present Father we thank you God that we are stopping here ye came because we leave everything before your grace the remaining we leave it before the throne in the mighty you will make it possible in the mighty name of Jesus you have come with us this far you will complete it in the mighty name of Jesus begin to thank the Lord begin to exalt his name begin to declare in the name of the Father and the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord hear you as you pray in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. We pray. Amen. Once again, my name is Remy Kendi Taiwo. Um, I say to you, surely someone understand on my voice, the Lord will visit you. They will visit his people. You will be one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Stay blessed. Good morning, Britain. <laughs>